How do engineers handle misaligned bridges? When a bridge doesn't align as expected, should it be reworked in sections or completely demolished and rebuilt? Surprisingly, there are innovative solutions to fix misalignment issues and this is no exaggeration. Take, for example, a bridge project in southern Croatia, where engineers encountered a major setback while building over a canyon. Just as the two sides were nearing connection, workers found a significant vertical misalignment between them. In these situations, corrective measures are essential. In this case, engineers identified that the bridge's steel truss structure allowed adjustments from its base, enabling both sections to meet. But not every bridge design is this flexible. In cases where a bridge can't simply be realigned, some argue that demolishing and starting anew is best. This approach is often seen in India, where occasional construction misalignments are partly due to limited technology. Demolition and reconstruction may solve the problem, but it demands significant funding, a challenge for any country's budget. Other methods can fix alignment issues more efficiently. For instance, if the bridge is off horizontally, engineers might widen the bridge deck to bring it back on track, avoiding the need to demolish or alter the supporting piers. This approach saves both time and resources, but what if the discrepancy involves height? To address vertical misalignments, raising the central piers can level the deck without requiring a complete overhaul though it may leave the bridge with an unusual appearance. When there's both vertical and horizontal misalignment, a combined strategy may be applied, but this can result in a uniquely shaped bridge. While these techniques ensure structural safety, they may not satisfy those who appreciate precise aesthetics. In some instances, a curve may be added to the bridge's midpoint to create a smoother alignment, but this requires additional materials, increasing the overall expense. This solution works well for longer bridges, but isn't practical for shorter ones with severe misalignment, where reconstruction might be inevitable. One might ask why such errors occur. After all, engineers are skilled professionals. However, these issues often arise from the need for meticulous on-site measurements to determine exact placements for each bridge support. To achieve exact positioning for each bridge pile, rigorous measurements are essential. The surveying and design phases leave no room for error. Even minor inaccuracies can multiply as construction progresses, eventually causing severe alignment issues. In a worst-case scenario, structural misalignments could necessitate a complete teardown and reconstruction. India's infrastructure developments illustrate the consequences of such mistakes. Given its comparatively lower standing on the global infrastructure scale, construction projects there frequently face setbacks. For example, India invested heavily in constructing a dam intended to rival China's Three Gorges Dam. Yet, due to substandard material quality and inadequate oversight, the dam collapsed just one week after its completion. India attributed this to rats burrowing through the dam, a claim widely doubted internationally. India is not the only nation facing such challenges. Even China, with its extensive infrastructure achievements, has encountered issues. In the 1990s, during the construction of a bridge along the South Beijing Expressway, the structure was built from each end towards the middle. However, the two sides did not meet correctly, with a height mismatch of 1.9 meters. An investigation revealed no flaws in the design until it was too late, leaving the two sides unable to connect smoothly. Material quality can also be a critical factor in construction. Specifications often demand precise mechanical properties, yet these can be falsified. During the 1990 for construction of China's Three Gorges Dam, concerns over domestic steel quality prompted Chinese engineers to consider sourcing superior Japanese steel to ensure the dam's reliability and performance.